starting in a comfortable kneeling position. You can also do this seated, but I'm going to talk through the kneeling version simply because the kneeling version feels good for me, so do what feels good for you. Bring your knees apart to form a V shape with your legs. Rest your palms on your legs, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, start to fold your torso over your legs, walk your arms out in front of you, keep your head down, and inhale, exhale, and let your body release. Today we'll focus on poses that strengthen and improve our posture. We'll work to challenge muscles that we rarely use outside of a yoga class. We'll incorporate some restorative shoulder openers, subtle back bends, and a few back strengthening poses, which will help awaken and invigorate muscles around the spine. They're often underused if we sit down a lot during the day. Okay, to come out of that now, walk your hands back up to rest on your knees. Take a deep breath in and let it out. So we've just bent forward, we need to even things out by bending backwards. To do this, place your hands behind you on your mat. Your fingers can point towards you or for an added stretch of the arms and shoulders, turn your palms around to point your fingers to the back of your mat. You can stay here and feel this stretch or you can drop your head back to add on. You can raise your bottom off your feet or if you're seated off of the floor. You should feel your hips open and create a nice long line from your knees all the way up to your shoulders. Be sure to evenly balance your weight through both hands. Tilt your head back if it feels good. And if you have any pain or injuries, just remain seated with your arms behind you on the mat. You'll still get a great stretch for your chest, shoulders and wrists. Take some big inhales and exhales here and really enjoy the chest opening in this pose. Feel the shoulders stretch. You very rarely stretch like this, so enjoy. Coming out of that now, lower back down to kneeling or seated position. And we'll flow into those bends two more times to warm up the main body parts we'll concentrate on during this flow, which is our chest, our back and our shoulders. Take an inhale and exhale to walk your palms back out in front of you, head down and exhale into the floor. Let your body release and relax and breathe. out of that now walk your hands back up to rest on your knees take a beat before walking them out behind you into that satisfying back bend again tilt your head back if it feels good and relax one more time come back up to starting position walk your hands back out reaching to the top of your mat Head down, releasing on every exhale. Come back up, bring your hands to your knees, and then walk them out behind you again. Tilt the neck back if it feels good, and breathe. Come back up to a seated or kneeling position with your hands on your knees. Close your eyes, take a deep inhale and exhale. And let's move on. Find your way into downward facing dog. Rest into this pose. Relax your neck and keep your knees bent if your hamstrings are really tight. Always make this pose and every other yoga pose work for you. You should be challenged but pain free able to breathe evenly in every yoga pose and remember what works for me doesn't mean it will always work for you. Celebrate your beautiful individual body by honoring how you feel in every pose. Use my instructions as a guide and do what feels right for you. We're going to rock in and out of plank pose now to switch on and strengthen our shoulder muscles. So on your next exhale, roll through your shoulders, bring more weight into your hands and roll onto the tippy toes to balance. Keep your bottom down and your legs switched on. Take a deep breath here and on an exhale, push your way back into downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here. And we're gonna do that two more times. 
So roll out into plank pose now. Remember to keep the spine straight, bottom down, neck relaxed. Push back to downward facing dog. Pedal out if it feels good, keep the knees bent or straighten them. And rock back out to plank pose now, keep those tummy muscles tight. And back to downward facing dog, well done. Come back into plank pose now and keep your elbows tucked into your sides with slow control, lower your whole body down to the mat. Take a rest here, lie on your mat with your arms by your side. Then inhale and lift them now to interlace them behind you. Exhale. And inhale, lift your legs and pull your arms back so that you're now resting on your tummy with your head up. Neck should feel comfortable and your shoulder blades should be pulled back trying to meet each other. This is one of the most amazing, most magical back strengthening yoga moves of all time. I know it feels really weird, but embrace it because this pose alone will start to switch on and build important muscles in your back that assist with better posture. Coming out of that now, release everything and lay on the floor. You can rest your head to the left or the right, just take a beat. And we're gonna do that three more times. So lifting up again, interlacing the fingers, lifting your legs up, head up. And resting back down to the floor. back up again, interlace your fingers, lift your legs. And release. Again, one more time, come back up. And release it back down to the floor. Relax your entire body for a big deep breath in and an exhale out and find your way back into downward facing dog. When you get there, pedal out the feet, put a small bend in the knees or ground your heels into the mat. We're going to transition now to some standing poses. So put a small bend in your knees and either walk your legs up to meet your hands or you can jump your legs to meet your hands. Once you get there, stay folded and just let everything hang down. You can grab your elbows, sway from side to side, put a bend in your knees if your back is tight. Otherwise, you can straighten your legs and hang and feel everything release in the backs of your legs. While you're here now, release your elbows, take your hands behind your back, interlace them and bring them over your head for a great shoulder opener. Hang here for a few breaths and feel those shoulders open. It may feel a little tingly, that's totally fine. Slowly release them now to hang back down to your mat. And we're going to lengthen our spine by coming halfway up. So if we remember, we put our hands on either our shins, just above our knees and our thighs. Press in and only bring yourself halfway up. Keep staring down at your mat and visualize your spine straightening like a tabletop. On an exhale, drop back down. We're going to do that two more times to strengthen our back. Inhale, halfway up. Press your palms into your legs. And exhale, drop back down. Let your arms rest and hang. And last one, placing your palms. Press them into your legs. Come halfway up. Take an inhale. And exhale, let it all fall back down. Slowly coming up to stand, rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae. Your head will be last to roll up. As you come up to stand, float your arms up, interlace your fingers and push them up into the sky. Nice big stretch, ground your feet into the mat. And then exhale, let them flow back down by your side. 
Let's check back in with our posture by rolling our shoulders up, back and down, squeezing in our shoulder blades. Great. Okay, so we're going to channel our inner dancer now. This next pose is meant to be more swan lake than swan dive, so pay attention to your breath, find a focal point, something to keep your gaze rested on, and that will help you balance. If you feel a little shaky with this one, that's fine, it's great even, because it means we're activating lots of muscles all over our body that haven't been used in a while. So let's use them now and rock into this pose because we can do it. So grounding all your weight into your right leg, bend your left leg behind you now, and grab your inner left ankle with your left hand. Facing forward, take your right arm now and lift it into the air. Inhale, then as you exhale, start to fold forward as you kick your left leg out and pull it back in with your left arm. You should feel some resistance between the pushing and the pulling on your left side. You can stay up or you can dip as far forward as it feels good for you. Just keep your gaze on something in front of you and don't forget to breathe. Keep the resistance between the pushing and the pulling and that will help you stay up. And if you wobble, that's fine. If you fall, fall with ease and a smile on your face. Remember, it's not the fall that matters, it's how you react. If you fall over, please be careful. If you fall out of this pose, just get back into it, try it again. For now, bring the left leg down to meet the right. Roll your shoulders up, back and down, and ground your weight now into your left leg. Bring your right leg behind you, and grab your inner right ankle with your right arm. Put your left arm straight up into the air for balance. Take an inhale, find your gaze in front of you, and on an exhale, fold forward slowly, push and pull. So you wanna push your right leg out, pull it back in with your right arm and find a balance. Again, stay where it feels good for you. Challenge yourself a little bit, but also watch your balance. If you're really, really wobbly, stay where you are now and focus on breathing. We want to strengthen these muscles to hold you up. So every time you come back to revisit this practice, it's going to get easier, I promise. If you've fallen out already, just get back up and try it again. When I first started yoga, I fell a lot and it was the falling that taught me the most. So embrace the wobbling, embrace any falls and enjoy this yogic ride. Bring the right leg down now to meet the left. Bring your arms down by your side, take an inhale, lift them back up into the air, and on the exhale, fold forward. Let your arms hang, and on the next inhale, press them into your shins or your thighs and come halfway up. And exhale, let everything drop back down. Press your palms into your mat and step your feet back into downward facing dog. This is the last downward facing dog of the class, so relax your neck. Pedal the legs, keep a bend in the knees, or straighten your legs, whatever feels good. Take a deep inhale here, and as you exhale, bring your knees to the floor. You can find yourself in kneeling before walking your arms back out to the top of your mat, and find yourself in a child's pose now. Just start to relax, you can rest your forehead on your mat or on your knees. My child's pose looks like a V with my legs and then I kind of crawl myself down in the middle, similar to what we did at the very beginning of the class. So rest here, let your forehead rest on the floor and just breathe. Just ease into it. Every exhale you should feel your body release more and you can also wiggle into it just to feel all those kinks relax and feel your muscles give way. We're going to end the class today with a nice little shoulder stretch. This move is gold. It's a great one to do if you experience intense stress that can often result in insomnia. This pose helps to release a lot of mental tension that often gets stored in your shoulder joints. True story. This pose also helps to stretch out your arms, your upper back and neck, so enjoy it. It's called threading the needle. Push up to a tabletop position with your palms directly under your shoulders and your knees beneath your hips. 
Bring your right hand between your left hand and left knee now. Slide it all the way to the left so that the right shoulder and side of the head rest comfortably on your mat. Inhale and reach the left hand up towards the ceiling. At first, explore how this feels and you can push it a little bit further wherever you feel the deepest stretch and no pain and leave it there and breathe. To release, exhale your left arm back to the floor, push in and slowly inhale, bring your right arm back to tabletop position. Take a breath here. And then we're gonna do the other side, sliding the left hand between the right hand and the right knee. Now push it all the way to the right so that the left shoulder and side of the head now rests comfortably on your mat. Inhale and raise your right arm up into the air and feel the stretch. Enjoy it. Do you feel it in your shoulders, your neck, your arms? If you feel any pain, please back out. It's not meant to hurt, it's meant to feel good. Coming out of that now, bring your right arm back down to the mat and come back to tabletop position. Transition back to your knees and then slowly find your way on your back before we relax everything down. Bring your knees into your chest, hold your right knee, release your left, twist to your left and look to your right. that, bring your left leg in, twist to your right and look to your left. Release out of that and bring both knees back up into your chest for a beat. On an inhale bring your forehead up to meet your knees and exhale release everything back down to your mat, melt, relax. You should feel nice and stretched out and start to notice your posture after this class. The more you practice this flow, the more awareness you will bring to the way you hold yourself during the day. And make a commitment to yourself now to work on your posture, to open your chest, to open the temple. Again, Namaste.